Hey YouTubers again, this is George, and I'm going to show you some stuff, yeah, I'm going to show you actually the gatefold games that came with the Atari 2600 around 1977, early 1978. One thing, when the Atari 2600 first came out in 1977, there were nine original games that came out. And they were Combat, Air Sea Battle, Starship, Blackjack and Deep 500, Street Racer Surround, and. Oh, wait. Video Olympics and Basic Math. I'm going to show you those today. At least most of them. Video Olympics seems to be missing. Uh oh. Here we go. Here's the first one. This is. Combat. This is one that came in supposedly as a pack-in game, or soon after the Atari 2600 was released. As you can see, right here is the horizontal seam from this. There are two versions of this combat game, and I'm going to show you both. For now, you have that. Here's the box. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Oh, one combat. All right. Here's the manual. Also in nice condition, I think. Okay. Now, to show you a not so nice condition box, what they would look like if it wasn't so good. But, this is a rarer boxed game. Because, unlike the other one, this combat has something special to it. It has the O1 to it, but if you look, it has red around it. Yep, yep. And for this box, instead of a horizontal seam, there is a diagonal seam that seems to run about hmm, 30 degrees down. Here's the manual. It's about the same. As you can see, it's not as good condition, the box or the manual, but I still like this because it's such a rare thing just I don't know hard to find harder to find than most people would imagine having the red label combat and also the box to go with it all right next is how about this one air sea battle there we go. Yes, another one that looks in like it's pretty good condition. It has a sticker on it. Okay, the edge isn't good, but here we go. No two. As you can see, <clears throat> this was a game where you saw it at ships and ah, airplanes and all good stuff. And it was, it was a two-player game. It wasn't really a one-player game. Here's the air sea battle. The manual, <clears throat> not as in good condition, but still, whatever. As you can see, this right here is horizontal, or not or diagonal, I mean. Here's something special about this one. There is no O2 on the game, and I'm not too sure why. And some people say, oh, you switched, they just accidentally switched the game. But I'm like, maybe not. Maybe there were some games that didn't have O2 that went into the gatefold box. Just a thought. All right. Next. It is one of the very first shooter, spaceship shooter games. Atari 2600 became famous for its spaceship shooter games, I think. And probably what's separated it from the other consoles and basically I think Space Invaders was the reason for that but they didn't have Space Invaders in 1977 so here's what we have Starship as you can see again the manual looks wonderful the box is another doop here we have this Do boom as you can see the box looks good I think and now a look at the game. All right. There we go. As you can see, it has the silver thing and the O3. All right. Next. 
All right. Is Surround. Surround was one more popular game, I think. My guess is they probably made about two fifty to 500000 of these with the gatefold box. The combat you saw had about 500000 to a million, I would suppose. As you can see, the box again is in wonderful condition for the most part. Yep. Mm-hmm. We open the game. Boom, boom, boom. No manual. That blows. This, I don't know why that's like that, but here we go. Here we go. The 41. All the gatefold games also had the number attached to the game name. It's around, so you had 41. If you look at the, the number, we have 41 here. All right. Next, we have Street Racer. And this was one of the first racer games. I think this is a little bit harder to get. My guess is they probably made about 200,000, 150 to 250 if I had to haphazard a guess of the gatefold games for Street Racer. Here's the manual again. Diagonal box like that. And what do we have here? We have Street Racer. Boom, boom. All right. And again, as you can see, it has that 12 and all that good stuff. All right, box looks good. Boom, boom. Almost done. <clears throat> Here's ND500. Originally, the ND500 not only came with the gatefold box, but there was a bigger box as well that it came in. And that's a little bit harder to find. But I do have this. As you can see, there is the gatefold, the manual. And here is the game with the 11 ND500. I'd say the game's in decent condition. Yeah, except for that. Yeah. All right. All right. And that too. All right, it's not the best condition, but I'm just happy to have it. Yeah. All right, next. Blackjack. This is an decent condition. I say it's in really good condition for the most part. Yeah, you got that, but it's got its gloss. That's really nice. And then we open it up. Ooh. Here's the manual. Again. Yeah. 1977. And now last but not least, we have the 51 Blackjack card. All right. All right, just a sec. Hold on for a minute. I think I'm going to look for the video Olympics. Listen to that car in the background. Oh, there it is. Ah, I found it. Ooh, maybe that's a Harley Davidson. All right, this is Video Olympics. This is one of the more popular of the nine games because... Video Game Olympics basically was just another name for Pong <laughs> and Pong Sports or whatever. And they made tons of Pong systems. And so I would say that this game may have been as popular, if not more popular, than even Combat at the time. And my guess is they probably had a large arguments which should go first video olympics should be that be the pack-in game or combat and they settled on combat and i think that may have been a good choice because they were probably trying to separate themselves from the pack and here we go here is this the box i think is in decent condition it has that eh. but it looks still in fairly good condition i open it up Yay, this one actually has the first manual. Ooh, be a flying ace. And this too. Well, I mean, first game manual. And if we look through it, there's the warranty card. Yay. There's that. So it has all the special goodies that go along with it. All right. And here's the very first whatever 
Oh, wait, wait for the Olympics. It talks about the other games. You don't have to be something a driver. Yay, beam me up, Captain. This one is Starship, they're talking about. Run Rubber, Street Racer. And... Ah, sorry. And then it talks about... Trapped. This is um, Surround, Hit Me Blackjack. So it's basically the first nine games it goes over. This is hard to find, sort of, so... It's kind of cool to have. And then here they have the paddles and the original Heavy Sixer driver paddle. That's hard to find. All right, pretty cool. All right. They also, besides this, for whatever reason, had, all right. Where is it? Er, Try to put this back in. Maybe I'll just do that later. This one is not a gatefold box, I'm sorry. But there is a gatefold version of it. It's still extremely rare. It is the basic math cart game. And for whatever reason, people did not want to play a game with math in it. They were like, ah, math. <laughs> that is not fun. Please <laughs> do not. We do not want to buy this. And so this is on the rarer side. I probably would have to venture to guess that there were probably originally 50 to 100,000 of these games made. And as you can see this game, although it, even the non-gatefold box version is rare. It's probably even rarer than the gatefold box version. Because again, they soon after making it into this version, they discontinued it. And as you can see, the original owner... Didn't really care for this game because the box is in pristine condition. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of nice to have. It's one of my beauties, and even though it's not um, really <clears throat> a gatefold box game, it's still a pretty nice game to have. It probably would go for at least 50 bucks. Yeah. If it was sold on eBay, yeah, ah, I think. <laughs> All right, well, that is my edition of the Yayful Boxed Games. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, you might have been bored to death, whatever. I'm signing off for this one. Have a nice day.